This is the Iowa Weather Report for Thursday, April 30th, 2015. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have a bit of an upper level feature moving across the Great Lakes and this will move south and then east into the eastern part of the country. The only thing that's going to affect us here today will be a, maybe a cloud or two more in our eastern counties and maybe a couple degrees cooler in our eastern counties where some middle and upper 60s will be possible. Lower and middle 70s in our western counties with plenty of sunshine around. There'll be quite a bit of sunshine even into the day on Friday. However, a weak little system is going to be coming in that could bring us an isolated shower or storm. Chances are about 20 to 30 percent. Not everybody may get rain even Friday into Friday night, but it is something we'll have to watch. And then as we go into Saturday, it's kind of a bit disturbed off in the plains with a little bit of precipitation the GFS is trying to show. The chances would be about 20% or less. That could sneak into the western counties of our state. That could also be the case here on Sunday as well. About a 20-30% to 30 crack at some showers and storms. There will be some sunshine around on both days. And we could see some temperatures well into the 70s and possibly near 80 if we get a lot of sunshine. Then the weather starts to turn active as we go into next week here on Monday. You can see the chances start to increase with the system that's going to come in and it's going to stall over the area. You see that here Monday. You see that here Tuesday, a, si a frontal type system from New England through the Great Lakes, through Iowa, back into the plains, into a system that's going to be gathering over the Rockies and Desert Southwest here Tuesday. That's will slowly move in our direction here on Wednesday. And you can see that here, the Gulf begins to open up, showers and thunderstorms. That looks like a severe weather setup there as we move into Wednesday and possibly even into next Thursday. It's something we'll have to watch. It's still quite a few days away, so it's something we have plenty of time to watch out for. Even next Thursday here, back on the 500 millibar chart, you can see there's that disturbance over the northern plains. See another one over across the west, something we may have to watch as well. We have another upper level system off the Florida East Coast producing a little bit of precipitation there, but you can see here next Thursday, golf open up, showers and thunderstorms. Could there be severe weather? Well, we have plenty of time to watch out for it, and we have plenty of time for it to change as well, so we'll have to wait and see. Going into the extended period on May the 11th, pretty much a fairly wavy pattern, not overly big ridges or troughs, bit of a trough across the north and east. A little bit of activity moving into the north and west with a little bit of precipitation there. But as you see, the gulf is starting to open up again. Showers and thunderstorms across the plains again. We also have a system moving off the east coast that will go through Florida. So this will be probably our quiet time before it starts to get active again at the end of the period, which here is May 15th. You can see a system diving in and across the plain states. You can see the trough axis ridge over the south and east. With this moving in, that looks to be showery and thunderstormy again. Quite a bit of showers and thunderstorms possible across the, the Gulf Coast region and even around here. We'll have to wait and see. This is more than two weeks out, but looks like the middle of May could be quite active as next week could be also. The satellite image from last evening, though, is not very active and not very exciting. Just a couple of clouds across Florida, a bit of a weak disturbance. That's the one we're going to have to watch later in the week across the northern Rockies, and a couple of clouds at that upper-level system in the Great Lakes. And the watch warning map from last evening is dead quiet. Red flag warnings in the plains, South Dakota, North Dakota, northwestern Minnesota. Other than that, some air quality alerts around Houston. There is nothing going on across the country at this point. However, the QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Monday evening at 7 o'clock, shows it's going to get active. A little bit of precipitation around here, maybe up to an inch. It might be a little overzealous. Some rain also across the mid-Atlantic states.